naming the feelings, guided meditation. Sit quietly for a few moments, settling into your seat. Notice the feeling of your breath entering and leaving your body. Notice the sounds around you. The sensations on your skin. The sensations within your body. Notice any thoughts that might be floating to the surface. Imagine these thoughts as icebergs. The thought is what we see above the surface of the water. Beneath the surface, the much larger part is an emotion or several. For example, if we are thinking about our long to-do list and how we are never going to get it done, the emotion below the surface might be anxiety or guilt. If we are struggling with an argument we have with a loved one, the underlying energy might be sadness. What emotions are beneath your toes right now? If you are able to, name these emotions out loud or write them down. When you notice the temptation to get lost in the story, gently return to the emotion. I feel sad. I feel angry. I feel hurt. I feel lonely. Notice if there are any emotions lurking around that might feel less difficult. Is there any joy? Excitement? There is space for all these emotions to coexist. Every time a thought arises, name the emotions beneath it, that large, often unseen part of the iceberg. Continue naming the emotion until it feels as tough you've named them all.
once you feel like you've named all your current resident emotions, see if you can feel where these emotions are living in your body. This is a practice that takes some time establish, so be very patient with yourself. We are not accustomed to taking note of what we are feeling in our body, unless it's acute pain or an open wound. One way to do this is to look for tingling or tightness. Emotions can also show up as a flutery feeling or a clinching, or you might feel actual physical pain. Try going through your slowly, body bit by bit, to keep things simple. Do you notice any sensation of emotion in your head, neck and throat area? Your chest, upper back and the space around your heart? Travel through your shoulders, your upper arms, your hands, your stomach area. Lower belly and pelvis. Bring your consciousness to your seat and lower back your legs, your feet. If you noticed any feelings in any of these places, observe them, but don't interact. Note them, but don't try to change anything. Be curious but compassionate. It is human to have emotions. If we are alive, we are feeling them in our physical body. If we've been busy or preoccupied for some time, we may not have noticed these feelings until now, or we may not want to be experiencing these emotions. See if you can allow your feelings to just be there. See if you can pull up a chair next to the fluttering or the buzzing and experience it. Notice if any fear comes up around doing that, which is very natural. If something feels too traumatic or jarring and it doesn't feel safe to feel, please let it go for now.
Notice if there is a message your body or self needs to hear right now. It could be, I am here. It might be, you are loved or I'm loved. Some other examples that might work. It's safe to feel this. You are doing your best in this moment. Forgiven. I am worthy. It may help to place a hand gently on your chest or stomach. Repeat this message to yourself gently and kindly until you notice a shift. Then, gently let it go. You can repeat this with as many feelings as you like. 